What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and I recovered all the rating. Uh, so I what, lost 150 rating, and now I've gained the 150 rating. So posting back at number one, which I hope to uh, get my 15th weekly winner number one badge. And today we're gonna do Judgment because I haven't done Judgment in a while, and it looks like start off by taking just Crete. I'll take the Wing Spear first. Um, Wing Spear is pretty good now at two cost. And I'll just cross him in here, busting a pace. So it looks like Order might be the best so far. Um, I'll take the Crossbowman. Uh, I could take Spark, maybe the Charge Coil, but I think we're going Order first. Kabonk. Uh, it's interesting. Here I'll take Paxmark because all four of these scrolls are not very good. Hmm. Righteous Partisan is Order, so that's in that faction. I'll take the take the Ripper here. Who knows? I got like a witch. Uh, so I, was, I was literally thinking Witch Doctor, which means I might try to go for Decay now and take the R Heart because Witch Doctor is really, really good. Um, and I will do that. So I'll take the R Heart over the Bonk. See, so yeah, a Hunter too. That's nice. I still might be Order, so I'll take the Righteous Partisan. Um, and now Witch Doctor. Uh, Hellmire Hunter. Hmm. Now we're kind of a little bit farther back. I guess Uneasy Alliance. Uh, Faith Chains. Infected Grave. I want to make a uh, Decay work, but it's tough. It's tough to just make something work. Envivor, Bloodline Taint. Uh, Pushback. Okay, there's an all moss high guard, so this could be interesting. I need more lower drop decay creatures. Now, right, there's a another e there's a first eager scar. That's good. I'll take that. Another infected grave logger. Right, now I have an anima four combo and a mire shambler. There isn't too bad. This gives me. Oh, I should have taken the mire curse. Ah, oh, that was a bonehead. That was a bonehead decision there. I didn't really look at the row well enough. Good. There's another in my hunter. Take the rattle him. Who knows? I will draw something else. Hmm. Elmire Hunter. Okay, good. Now we're getting some better decay stuff. Another infected grave lock. Okay, I have the poison working for me here. Poison, poison, poison. Uh. Okay, double rot eater is really nice. So rot eater, rot eater, watcher, and a conduit necro get in. Okay, so now. Now I'm liking this. Yeah, alright. Hopefully, too bad these guys aren't on separate rows, though. Uh, am I going to be able to go Mono Decay? I don't think so. Flesh Animator or Stitcher? I mean, I don't have that many bad creatures to use with the Stitcher, but what undead do I have? Not many either. I'll go with the uh, Flesh guy, though. And now. Horn of Ages, sure. I don't have any lingering spells, right? So, Pilgrim's Feet and a, another Scavenger Construct. Okay, okay, deck. Uh, is this what I want to keep it at? Don't need that. Um. Not too bad. Let's see if we can just splash in. I guess we can splash in those two scrolls. Or should I go for the Blessing of Haste? Blessing of Haste, Horn of Ages, New Orders. That would probably make more sense, yeah. Blessing of Haste, Horn of Ages. And take out the Husk and put in New Orders. Husk, I don't like at all. Okay. So. MD, I will actually save this deck in case I decide to uh, stream it, stream the rest of the run after this first match. And we found it right away, so that's good. And let's see who we're facing. User underscore uh, 00002A. Um, I don't know, I think I've actually faced this guy before. Uh, I'm not sure if that's like a reference to something. Or it's just, I don't know. Either way, we're going to try to win this game. Um, 
so I guess uh, I keep this hand or no I don't I don't have really it right he's poisonous he's poisonous let's draw a new starting hand okay this is uh, different there are the early new orders and let's play the scavenger construct right in the middle uh, get the theme going early that we're gonna have that thing down right in the middle which kind of interferes with witch doctor placement but I'll probably just get the infected grave lock in front there and we'll we could have a one for one trade in terms of poison his uh his dude costs less though. Okay, he goes for more decay, and he's gonna have a two drop. Yes, he's gonna play an infected grave lock. Plays it on that row. All right. I will. Ooh, which doctor? Here, I'll get rid of the watcher. I'll just play the infected grave lock there. We'll see if he wants to have both creatures get poisoned. And mine is next to the scavenger construct, so I would get uh, some health there. Hopefully, I top deck the. Animavore soon. Um, okay, he's going to not attack there. So he is just going to deal one damage to the idol. And he has no other play. So I will. Good. I top deck a Neger Sarai. That's a nice top deck. And I guess I'll just play back there, even though there's a rat right there, which. These poison guys are kind of hard for me to deal with, you know? Because if I kill them, I'm just letting my creature die. Alright, well, he would also get a buffed up Rot Eater. I'm not sure if I want to go forward and kill there. Maybe when I know I have an Animal War. Oh, now I have a Double Emmer Hunter. I think I have to have a dead turn. I have to play that Witch Doctor. So, just play it. And I could move up, but I don't want you to be a 4 4. I'd rather just stay in the middle here. Brain Lice on that. So, it's going to die eventually. Ooh, a road. Hopefully, it doesn't have another one of those. Get rid of the infected grave lock for resources, and I'm just gonna do nothing this turn. If you're gonna die anyways, I might actually use you to destroy the infected grave lock. Because if you're gonna die from the poison. Alright, there's, there's a conduit now. Alright, I'm going to. Destroy that with him and get the witch doctor down. And uh, here's to hoping the 50% chance that the, that the uh, revenant spawns down. It's not a big deal, actually. Okay. And it's it. Okay. So, Infectious Blight. Well, he's got the poison going. I want an Animavore on that construct soon. It only has one health, though. Another road and gets taken out. He still does not come forward down there. Uh, uneasy Alliance would be nice to get on him, but I'm going to have to sacrifice. I'll still get the uneasy alliance down. I could have had a double uneasy alliance, so I'm going to take out the rod eater that way. Ooh, Necrogeddon is a way to get rid of get rid of the poison. Let's hold on to everything. Necrogeddon would not be a bad option. Oh, he is oh, maybe I should have kept the rattle him as a, as a removal for that. But, 
we have some better stuff. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of the uneasy alliance. We'll play the uh, enemy of war now. It's good. Next turn we can go with a necker get in maybe. So, hex marks. And next turn, I think there's a very high chance we go Necrogeddon, so let's just put uh, the infected grave lock here. And I might be able to win. I think I have one wicked being in the deck. I get a lot of scrolls from the Necrogeddon around the scavenger construct. Brain lice. Will ensure he dies before his next attack, so almost definitely going to Necrogeddon this turn. And he's going to protect the idols, kind of. Okay. So he's going to take out that. Now, since I'm not really that close to winning, I think I'll actually just clear most of his board like that Rod Eater. Okay, so he's a little, oh wow, he had a, a lot of creatures, so he's really protecting his idols there. Um, let's let's uh, get rid of the Wicked Being, let's go with the Necker get him. So I'm going to take out the Rod Eater. I'll take out the Rod Eater and I will... Maybe take out the Conduit behind that. Or no. Should rather take out those creatures besides the rod eater. Alright, let's just necker again and straw a bunch of scrolls. Ooh, searing shackles. That could be good. Let's let's put all three on this row. Let's have one kill that. Ah, that was two revenants. That was not great placement by me. Hmm. At least I got a lot of scrolls from that. Yeah, so Searing Shackles here could eventually take that idol down. We know he has a road though. He's already taken out an idol. He hasn't sacrificed yet, which worries me that he has like a plausible play in hand already. I hope he doesn't come out with like a Watcher or a uh, Animivore of his own. Or a, uh, I mean, uh, Scavenger Construct Animivore. So he's gonna deal Idle damage. Okay, beast rat. Yeah, there's some kind of rats. Up. Ooh, another halls. Wow. Well, we gotta stay on top here. It's gonna be tough. Uh, at least he didn't kill any of our hustle. We'll get value out of them. Let's get rid of the horn of ages. Um. 
Could have been Necro again. Let's just get around here. Okay. Let's hope we uh, recycle our deck soon and be able to get another Necro again. Because although he's had double hulls of Amasa, that the animal board gave me a lot of scrolls. Next turn, maybe Omasa High Guard and Searing Shackles. Or Searing Shackles not going to be the play. It might not be. Omasa High Guard is also almost like soft removal because you just immobilize a unit in the front row you can immobilize it like that one I'll just make it not attack and let's uh I think I'm actually gonna destroy this so let's not do the searing shackles let's sacrifice for scrolls Play the Omasa High Guard. And should I play Scavenger Construct as well? Yeah, let's do it. I think we have to protect these idols. And I'm going to have a lot of creatures attacking next turn for 3 attack. And the deck is recycling, so we could actually get the Necrogun next turn. Next turn might not be the best time to use it, though, because I have so many creatures attacking anyways. Huh. Yes, I do think I'm in a good spot, even though he has the double halls of Omasa. Okay, Brain Life is eventually going to kill that. Flush Animator is pretty good with all these husks out. Okay. If I sacrifice, do I have lethal with an echo? No, I don't. But I'd have a, I have a wicked being. But I think it's better if I just go for resources and play the animator and the conduit this turn. So let's do that. Let's uh. Destroy those guys and try to stop that life stealer. Um, I will deal as much damage as I can. Take out middle idol. I will get down an anemic conduit. Which will help the rot eaters and the con and the uh, scavenger constructs and a flush animator, which will make all these husks basically attack in two turns when the flush animator attacks. One turn before they would have attacked. All right, I think we're in a very good spot. When we draw that necrogen, it's really going to be game over. Oh, whoops! The uh, high guard isn't going to be able to get his effect through these units, so that means my flush animator is very vulnerable. Actually, it's pretty vulnerable anyways. All all the user would have to put is like something in front of that and move him away. So yeah, that wasn't too good. But at least I'm going to get a uh, Revenant and a draw from the Animivore and a buff on the Rot Eater when this thing dies. Good chance we just draw our Necrogun though. The Halls of Almaza didn't save him here. I don't know if he's a Necrogun. That's why he's trying to hold the board. But I have so many creatures, it's hard for him to break through. All right, and now which doctor we will keep? Let's uh, let's take things out. Play a uh, witch doctor because why not? 
And no use in overextending the board. Yeah, it seems like he's had this Halls and Laws out for a long time, but he keeps playing low drops, just playing them like the Manji Rats, the Rippers, and they just destroy them. So he's kind of losing card advantage there. It was a decent creature, but probably won't get a chance to attack. Hex marks. Uh, let's see. Deal more idle damage instead of killing that little rat. Uh, not optimizing idle damage. I'm doing my best though. Hex marks here. Yeah, sure. That puts that almost dead. We'll play this. And. You know, let's just take out an idle. I may have actually missed like a lethal pop, possibly. So that does take out the top idol. And I have a searing shackles. I don't know why I've been so reluctant to play that so far. It's really not bad in a creature, it still stops it from moving really. Unless user wants to destroy it. Next turn, I could have lethal. Actually, no, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have lethal next turn. If I new orders, I can get the witch doctor down. It's tough though because the bottom row here has blocked pretty well. Sorry about the phone ringing. Okay, let's see. Get rid of the fester and free. Ooh, Necro again. Do we have lethal? Uh, yes, we do. So, GG. We're just going to. Uh, have three units on this road to clear this uh, idle down. So that was a kind of close first judgment match. Interesting two decay decks really battling it out. And I guess that was uh, a pretty good win. Hopefully I can get a five winner. So that'll be it for this video. Remember to subscribe for more content, like the video if you enjoyed, and comment any feedback in the comment section below. Uh, also click on any of the links on the screen to go to the other videos of mine, and I guess that's it. So thanks for watching, keep on scrolling scrollsers, I'll see you next time.